Hello YouTube. Uh, so I recently uh, picked up the Dell R uh, Power Edge R seven twenty XD for my uh, FreeNAS servers. Um, I got it up eBay for a good price. Um, however, I don't think it the uh, bad choice when it comes to the FreeNAS. Um, the Dell R seven twenty is designed for uh, enterprise environment, so obviously. Um, where they have a dedicated server room so the fan noise not gonna be an issue for them however I'll be running the Dell R720 in my uh, office um, which is it incredibly loud uh, when I power on the Dell um, R720 for the first time it sounds like a jet engine taking off in my uh, office uh, I did uh, some research and uh, I was able to uh, manually uh, set the static fan control so I was able to lower it uh, to 10% uh, it's not the best way to do it um, but it worked for me at the moment um, I do see that uh, the other people actually make a script that um, can uh, they set the certain level of the threshold of temperature uh, threshold when it uh, when past that um, threshold it automatically ship it to the the next uh, fan speed mm. uh, with that uh, this tutorial is for uh, window pc uh, i haven't figured out the way um, to get it to work on uh, mac os yes if you do let me know in the comment all right, and uh, first thing that um, you need to have um, the eye track controllers um, in your uh, Dell, the Dell R720 uh, XD, um, it actually integrated into uh, the modern board, and uh, when I bought it, already have the Enterprise um, um, license. So let's go ahead and Google uh, Dell. R720 XD. The IPMI command uh, should be the same uh, for the um, iTrack uh, version 7. Uh, it, uh, I'm not sure, I never used uh, iTrack 6 and uh, iTrack 8, so I can confirm it, it worked for uh, iTrack 6 or iTrack 7. If you're watching the video and you try it on uh, iTrack uh, version 6 and version 8 if it works uh, let me know in the comment and uh, I'll update it um, in the description so we are looking for our uh, Dell R720 uh, driver here you go so in order to use this you have to enable the IPMI in the system settings if you don't know how to do that um, look for one of uh, my uh, video I have a tutorial how to enable the IPMI in uh, set them, uh, system settings and uh, the keyword we can look for at um, PM, uh, BMC Ravel My uh, Charlie and that the Dell Open Manage BMC UT, uh, Utility uh, version 845 go ahead and hit download open and unzip it hit ok and you can uh, navigate to uh, that um, folder or you can just copy it uh, hit the window logo key and uh, R and uh, paste uh, the directory in there and hit ok and it open up the directory oh it pop it out on my uh, second monitor here it is I'll go ahead and close that one L double click on uh, BMC and we're gonna so I already installed it so we just gonna hit continue and install okay finish so now we uh, have a BMC utility installed in, in our window next thing is go to uh, navigate to the folder where you install it Uh, should be under Dell 
edit dev system management I guess and BMC here you go and uh, copy that link we're gonna open up uh, the uh, CMD or command prompt you don't need to run it uh, at the admin administrators, but you can, you could if you wanted to. Uh, we can use a command uh, cd for chain directory to uh, move it to the BMC utility. In order to run it, uh, you have to change the directory to the where the utility located at. And here it is. We already in the BMC utility folders. And uh, first thing, let's check for the uh, current settings. Uh, this command gonna print all the sensors, so it's gonna be um, ipmi tools that i link plus that h for host. And this one you actually uh, change it to whatever the IP address of your iTrack controller. My 192.4168.1.4200. And uh, dash u for username. It's not case sensitive, but uh, I make it uh, case sensitive. Uh, I make it uppercase so it's a little bit easier for you to see. And then. Uh, And then dash p papa for a password. I make it uh, user and eye track just for the tutorial. <laughs> so I don't have to uh, blow it out. Take too much time for that. <laughs> and then uh, sdr list full. And there it is, that uh, all the reading from the sensors. So it listed all the fan and their um, speed, current speed it uh, on right now. I believe I currently set it at uh, 10%. The inlet uh, temperature, exhaust temperatures. Um, so the, uh, on the bottom you have uh, two temperature. Um, the first one at the uh, CBU1 and the second one is CBU2 at 44 and the other one at 26. Um, reason why at the, the second one it temperature is lower than the first one it probably because my server is it, uh, in an idle status right now so it not utilize uh, the second U uh, CBU and power consumption is at 140 watts right now it's it, it that idle right now um, by the default um, I track uh, I think at the latest versions it actually uh, set at the uh, idle at 60 percent which is really really fast fan speed uh, per se uh, for our home use it incredibly loud but uh, for server environment uh, enter environment where they have a dedicated server room that's not going to be an issue um, all right uh, and with that uh, before you can set the manual static fan control you have to enable it so the command uh, to enable it is uh, ipmi tools that i plan plus and that h one nine two eight four one four two zero zero dash u and uh, to enable raw 0 x 3 0 space 0 x 3 0 0 x 0 1 and uh, zero x zero zero so uh the lab digit 
zero zero for enable if you change it to zero one it means it uh, disable when it disable it uh, back to the control of the eye track and uh, whatever the algorithm that eye track calculate that's gonna be the fan speed so right now we want to enable it so I'm gonna put that zero zero and uh, the easiest way is that I'll be loading all the uh, COI on the descriptions I find that the best way to copy the uh, command in a text file and uh, chain the host and um, username and password and paste it in uh, the window if you're not good at uh, tapping like I do <laughs> alright enter so now we set it at the um, manual static fan control next we're gonna chain the um, fan uh, speed to uh, 15% there you go so um, in the command prompt if you uh, hit the up key basically it repeat the last command because it's similar command so I'm not gonna tape it up the whole thing because I'm bad at tapping anyway so hit it which is to be lit and review the last command and change it up a little bit so it's still the same raw 0x30 0x30 and uh, gonna be uh, 0x02 and then 0x FF Foxtra Foxtra and uh, 0x so whatever the value come after this x is gonna be the uh, fan speed where do I get the, the parameter room uh, after the raw uh, if you look it up in the IPMI manual they actually show you uh, what um, the uh, hex value mean uh, and the parameter how to set the thing uh, manually now I'll, I'll make sure to include the link in the description but uh, just for your information and uh, how do you know how do I know uh, what hex value I'm gonna put in here for the fan speed if you know uh, the um, decimal to hex by heart then uh, it's easy for you if it's not you just uh, seem like Google decimal to hex and any converter here up on Google would work so let's say I want to set the fan speed at uh, 15 percent and I put in here 15 convert so 15 in decimal value uh, in the hexadecimal value gonna be a letter F so that's what we're gonna put it in let's go back to the um, terminal command I'm gonna put in the F and hit enter and uh, to check to see if uh, it uh, actually uh, working I'm gonna copy the uh, sensor list command again and control P and here as you see the fan speed it uh, changed from uh, the last one at, at 34 uh, 80 rpm is now at uh, 4320 rpm and uh, let me show you uh, what it is on the I track console. So we gonna go ahead and lock in the I track. And I'm gonna go down to the hardware and fan and that is it uh, set at 15 percent so uh, I've uh, 10 and 50 percent uh, work rate for my server keep it cool and the hard drive and the CPU is cool uh, the hard drive temperature at 38 39 degree and the CPU temperature is um, 27 at idle and uh, 48 to 50 uh, when it's running uh, you gotta find out for yourself uh, what speed it works for yours 
um, it depends on the room temperatures, uh, ambient temperatures, and um, the workflow on your servers, how many users are uh, using it at the time, um, whether the streaming, uh, you hosting the flex server on uh, your server or not. Um, like I said on the beginning, I think, um, somebody actually had a script on uh, Google somewhere. Um, I'll, I'll make sure and load it in the link if I um, come across. Uh, it actually um, help you um, help it uh, kind of automate it. Uh, when it passes certain uh, temperature threshold, it automatically ship to the higher um, fan speed. And with that, um, that's it for the tutorial, guy. Uh, this is how you uh, manually. Uh, set the static fan control for the Dell servers using the IPMI command. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.